Kumasi R250 and G250, two protein gel stains so similar it can be hard to decide which one to use. Hey, it's Karen here from Gold Bio, and if you stay tuned, I'll briefly go into some information about the two so you can decide which one's right for you. Kumasi R250 and G250 stains are popularly used in the SDS page to visualize proteins. Both of them allow for uh, high sensitivity, they both allow for easy detection, and they have very similar structures, but there are some key differences to keep in mind. One of the biggest differences between R250 and G250 is that they both require very different protocols. What this actually means is that they're not procedurally interchangeable. So if you are used to, say for example, using the G250 staining procedure, you couldn't one day use that procedure and then swap out for R250. Instead, you would actually need the R250 staining protocol. One of the next big differences between the two is that Kumasi R250 is more popularly used. A contributing factor to its popularity is its sensitivity. Kumasi R250 can detect as little as 0.1 micrograms of protein. It also follows a pretty simple protocol and it's compatible with mass spectrometry. The downside to R250 though is that it is more challenging to detect low abundance proteins. Kumasi G250 is also pretty sensitive. While it does require a longer protocol, it allows for quicker staining and it doesn't require a de-staining step. Another reason you might want to choose G250 is because it can be used in the Bradford assay for quantifying protein amounts in solution. So just to quickly summarize the differences between the two, R250 has a reddish tint. It's used in classical staining protocols. Its protocols are considered to be very user-friendly. It's compatible with mass spectrometry, but it does require a de-staining step. For G250, it has a bluish tint. It's used in newer staining protocols. It allows for quicker staining. It can be used in the Bradford assay to quantify protein amounts in solution, and it doesn't require that de-staining step. It does, however, require a longer protocol. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to give us a like, a subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.